The date, August 9th, 1939. The place, Patterson, New Jersey. And the birth of one, Joseph William Cerrone. celebrate your 80th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. I am so very blessed to have you in my life for the last 30 years. Love you. Have a wonderful birthday and many more. P.S. You are also blessed for having me as a daughter-in-law. <laughs> oh, I'm about an A minus. Thanks for asking. 1939 was a long time ago. FDR was in the White House. Stalin was in charge in Russia. I mean, Moses was still running things in Israel. I mean, it was a long time ago. Hey, Joe Cerrone. Happy birthday from Wayne, New Jersey. Happy birthday, Big Joe. Mwah. Happy birthday, Pop. You're so witty and charming. Your golf game is beyond compare. You are by far the best father ever. Can I stay in the will now? Cost of living in 1939. You ready for these numbers? The average cost of a new house was $3,800. The average wage per year, $1,730. $1,730 a year 
Wow. Gas was 10 cents a gallon. The average house, $28 a month for rent. Wow. A loaf of bread was 8 cents. Hamburger meat, a pound was 14 cents. A new car, average 700 bucks the year you were born. Happy birthday, Joe. You're still older than both of us put together. Hi, Hi Poppy. Poppy. Today's your special day. Heard you're turning 80 and thinking about getting a tattoo. How about your name and address? <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. 1939 was a huge year on the big screen. First and foremost, Stagecoach. And this was the breakout role for a young actor by the name of John Wayne. Wow. Then the cinematic classic, Gone with the Wind. It premiered in Atlanta, Georgia, won eight Academy Awards. Unbelievable. And believe it or not, in the same year, look at this, The Wizard of Oz. Wow. If I only had a brain. Joe, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Joe, you've got 14 more years to catch up to me. Hey, Dad. Happy 80th birthday. In honor of the eight decades that you live, I wanted to create the top eight list of 1939 for you. So here we go. Number eight, Moonlight Serenade by Glenn Miller was a hit song in 1939. Number seven, LaGuardia Airport opens in 1939. Number six, Lou Gehrig retires from the New York Yankees. Number five, one of my personal favorites, Hewlett Packard Corporation was formed. Number four, regular television broadcasts began in the United States. Hope that doesn't make you feel too old. Number three, the US Open champion in 1939 was Byron Nelson. Number two, the World Series champions, of course, the New York Yankees. And number one, the number one thing in 1939 was World War II began. Dad, we love you. Uh, we honor you today on your 80th birthday. We hope you have many, many more. Uh, enjoy the day. We love you. Happy birthday. Here's a cool thing to do. Find out who else turns 80 this year. Who was born in 1939? And it's, it's quite a list. John Cleese, great comedian. Tina Turner. Francis Ford Coppola. That's awesome. All right, listen to this. George Hamilton, the tannest guy ever. The Crocodile Dundee himself, Paul Hogan. The Ayatollah Khomeini. The Ayatollah is 80 as well. You've got the $6 million man, Lee Majors. You've got clothing designer, Ralph Lauren. You've got former Marine, Lee Harvey Oswald. But this is my favorite. You ready? Neil Sadaka. Come a, come a, down, do be, do, down, down. Breaking up is hard to do. <laughs> okay, I just love that Neil Sadaka. Timeless, am I right? Well, I also want to look at birthdays August 9th. What celebrities are turning a year older on your birthday? Hey, Sharon. First, prime time. Deion Sanders is 51. Anna Kendrick, 33. The great Sam Elliott, what an actor, 74. Melanie Griffith, 61. And get this, Ken Norton, the boxer, is 70 on your birthday. That's pretty cool, which actually explains maybe the uh, Bayonne Bleeder picture. Remember this one? Look at this, Chuck Wepner. This is unbelievable. Yes, Joe Cerrone with that porn stash and the great Bayonne Bleeder himself, Chuck Wepner. And there's Mike and Chris. And, and you see the eyes rolling from Chris. Yeah, you've done several things to roll those eyes on several occasions, am I right? But that's too funny. You've got some real boxing connections. Oh, hey, Dad. Mind if we get separate checks? Hey, Joe Cerrone, Diane and Ben Thomas. Hi, Joe. Wanted to wish you a very wonderful, happy 80th birthday yeah. and many, many more. Stay well and uh, so happy we had the opportunity to wish you a happy birthday. Cerrone, I never thought you could make it. <laughs> 
80 years old. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Happy birthday, Happy, happy 80th, Joe. Happy 80th birthday. Love you. Hey, how about you go get yourself some pasta? Happy birthday, Joseph! Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! I wanted to see if there were any presidents born on August 9th. Well, there were two presidents born in August on either side of August 9th. You ready? Two of your favorite presidents, Dad. You ready? Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. <laughs> Bill and Barack! Your favorites, baby! Yeah! Happy birthday, Poppy. Can I get something good in your will now? You know how there's a national day of just about anything these days? You got the National Cheesecake Day, National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arg. True story. Well, August 9th, I looked it up. Here we go. National Veep Day. True story. It's the day we designate to give recognition to the succession plan of the President of the United States. National Veep Day. August 9th is also National Rice Pudding Day. <laughs> We've got to have some rice pudding tonight. Come on, get some rice pudding. All right, but this is my favorite because this is so poetic. August 9th is National Book Lovers Day. As such an avid reader that you are, Dad, is that more appropriate? I, I think one of the funniest things I've ever heard about your love for books is how Kristen decides on a great gift for you. She says she walks into a bookstore finds the most boring, most uninteresting book in the bookstore and buys it for you. <laughs> and you will love it. I mean, reading Michener and all these thick novels, unbelievable, but it's so appropriate, so poetic. National Book Lovers Day, August 9th. Hi, Joe. Just wanted to wish you a happy 80th birthday. And let's see, I know you're 65 years about. You're just as charming as you were back in the day. Have a wonderful birthday. God bless you. Have fun. Hey, Joe. Happy birthday. I won't say which one it is because I'm not that nasty. This is your uh, baby godson. And uh, when we were young, you were telling me how to stay uh, straight and uh, be a nice person. Uh, it took me about uh, 12 and a half years to get to that. A matter of fact, it took both of us a little bit of time, but I think we finally both got there. Happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday, Uncle Joe. Let me start off by saying for those of you in the room with him today, I'm sure each and every one of you has had such a unique and memorable experience with Joe Cerrone. He is by far one of the funniest, greatest guys you'll ever meet. Now, some of you could debate that, but I seriously doubt you could debate it for too long, because after all, he is a Cerrone. Uncle Joe, after all these years, vintage is in again. So enjoy your 80th birthday. I wish you all the best, many, many more years of health, happiness, and surrounded by love, family, and friends. 
happy 80th. Joe Cerrone is so famous for the one-liners. My absolute favorite. Whenever I would pout and look for sympathy, he'd say, Billy, are you looking for sympathy? You know where you can find it? In the dictionary. It's right there between shit and syphilis. <laughs> True Joe Cerrone line. Now, all the other one-liners that you would use in public in the 70s and embarrass us as kids, yeah, I, I just found out. You know, those don't go over so well in 2019. Right this way, ladies. Oh, Great so to see you. you. You're thank welcome. You. Chivalry's not dead, merely wounded. <laughs> Weirdo? What? Christina! Hello. Great to oh, see you. Oh, How you been? Hey, how are you? Oh, if I was just six months younger. Oh. Hi, it's Sharon, right? Yeah. Bill Taylor, hey, how are you? Good, good. Now, are you single? No, I'm married. Oh. Well, do you fool around? Freaking pervert. Oh, damn it! Hi, Hi Poppy. Poppy. Sorry we can't be there for your special day. It's her fault. Anyways, in honor of your 80th birthday and your Italian heritage, we're going to tell you the top eight mafia movies. Number eight, analyze this. Number seven, Carlito's Way. Number six, Donnie Brasco. Doesn't that SOB still owe you $2? $2. $2. Cash. Number five, A Bronx Tale. Number four, Casino. Number three, my favorite, Goodfellas. Number two, The Godfather, part two. And number one, The Godfather. We love you. Happy birthday to our, our Godfather, Godfather of the family. I took a couple of shots, a couple of good ones, and you know I'm a peach, come on. Hey, a big thank you to everyone who sent in the pictures, the videos, it's been absolutely awesome celebrating JWC. Happy birthday, Joe Cool. Hey, can somebody get me an ice pack? Seriously. Damn. In accordance with our settlement, we must disclose a meteorologist was hurt in the making of this video.